expired not relisted searches in IMAP. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the top of the page and you're just where it says MLS search you're going to click on that once to make sure that you're in the tab. Then you're going to come to listing status and we're going to say equal to go into the drop down say expired not relisted. You can also give it a property type for this I'll give it I'm going to go into the drop down and give it single family and then the one thing that you're not seeing on the screen that you have to go into a drop down for is the expired date. So for this, we could say expired date, go right here. I'm actually going to add two of these to show you something. But we're going to go expired date for this first search, greater than or equal to. And I'm just going to go back three months, click July 1st, and do a start search. Okay. We're seeing there we have 472. So that's everything in the last three months. And this next part here, I'm just going to show you where you can box things in. So I added this extra expired date here, and I'm going to say less than or equal to, and I'm just going to keep this simple, and I'm going to click on the first day of this month, October. Just clicked October 1st, and what we're doing here is we're getting everything that expired greater than or equal to 7-1-2020, and less than or equal to 10-1-2020. So everything after July 1st, and before October 1st is what we're looking for all the expireds and what you have to imagine this as is just a different year you could say I want everything from you know July 1st of 2016 between October 1st of, of 2017 if you wanted to but it's just important that you put the greater than and the less thans in here to box in the date okay do a start search and there we go that's expired not not relisted searching in IMAP.